Look at these beautiful white roots. Look at those. Isn't that an awesome root ball? I don't know if it'll focus on the camera. Well, what's up guys? This is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and I'm out in the high tunnel this evening. It's just about uh, and sunset. Houston. Got Houston out here with me and I've been promising you guys we're going to do a whole um, series of videos this year. Uh, garden, just different methods of gardening, testing out different methods, doing different things. And that's why we built all these self-wicking tubs. As you guys know, we got that idea from my good Leon. friend Leon, Gardening with Leon on YouTube. Hello. And one of the other things that he's done that uh, I saw last year when I went down and visited with him was growing cucumbers in a barrel in water, no soil. So today, <laughs> we're going to show you how that's done. I've been working on this for a little while. It's a really easy process, but it's a closed hydroponic system, meaning there's no pumps, there's no... Uh, there's no aeration in the water. Once you fill the barrel up, add your fertilizer mix, you're pretty much done once you get your cucumber plant in there. So the difference in hydroponics and aquaponics, hydroponics is just water. So these barrels are full of water with fertilizer in them. Aquaponics is what you would see somebody, a lot of people put their, those IBC totes and circulate the water and have fish in them and then use the, the uh, fish emulsion fish manure as fertilizer for the plants. Well, this is a closed hydroponic system and it's very, very basic. It's uh, probably stems back to Dr. Kratke's method of growing hydroponically. If you've ever watched MHP Gardener on YouTube, that was one of my, my gardening heroes. <laughs> That's who I, I learned a lot from when I got started gardening was MHP Gardener. He did a ton of hydroponic uh, lettuce and bok choy and uh, tomatoes he had in Dutch buckets all kinds of cool stuff but we're gonna talk about cucumbers and barrels so here when you get started if you these are food grade plastic barrels 55 gallon barrels look just like this so these two have not been started yet and all it is they have two holes in the top okay and then I use a net cup you could use a like Leon just used a four inch pot from a plant start. Now, it wouldn't fit, I don't know if you can see. So you have, there's what you start off with. So I had to cut this all off because by the time you take this cap out, it's not a very big hole. So I just used a, a hole saw and cut a nasty, ugly hole, but just big enough to get that net pot to set down in there. Now, here's a, here's a very important trick. When you fill your water and when you fill your barrel with water, you only want it to fill up about to where maybe an eighth of inch of water comes in the bottom of that cup. If you put too much water, if you fill it up to about right here, you know, if you put a half, three quarters of an inch of water in there, your plants will get too soggy and they will die. Basically, they'll drown. So when you set your cup down in there, you want to make sure you're only getting about an eighth inch of water. So there's what it looks like to start with. Now, when you first start your plants. I started my cucumbers in uh, soil blocks and then I put a soil block in that in that four inch net pot and just packed a little extra soil around it. You probably could start your seeds in the net pot. I just wanted to go ahead and get them started, get them off to a good start. But the next phase, so those haven't been planted yet. This one was planted May 16th. So this plant's been in the ground about two weeks, I say in the ground, in the water, right at two weeks. And there's what the roots look like. See how long the roots are already? That was that was put in the water just over two weeks ago. Today is June 2nd. You can see the plants starting to crawl and grow. And having that fertilizer in the water really, really stimulates those roots to grow. Now before I come over here and try to pull one of these out, um, what are we using for fertilizer? Because that's going to be the big question. I use a product called Master Blend, and this is my first time, so that we're still experimenting here. But that came from MHP Gardener. He was really big on, uh, I say was, because he just doesn't put out video content anymore. Doesn't mean he's not still growing. 
He is still alive. It's not like he's gone, but he was really big on master blend fertilizer. So let me go get that and I'll show you what I do and how I mix it up in quantities and stuff like that. Okay, so master blend is a three part blend and I'll go into, into each ingredient. I bought this on Amazon as a kit. You could probably go out and source each individual ingredient separately. But if you're interested in purchasing this, I'll leave a link in the description box down below to Amazon. Uh, as I said, Master Blend is a three part kit. So the first part here is calcium nitrate and it's a 15.500. Okay, that, uh, that's your nitrogen source for what we're growing. We want a lot of nitrogen. The nitrogen's gonna really push those leaves on. The second part is the actual Master Blend <laughs> brand. But Master Blend uh, tomato and vegetable formula, and it's a 41838 blend. So not a lot of nitrogen. If you use this just by itself, your plants wouldn't get the nitrogen they, nitrogen they need to boost that leaf growth. This is, as I said, it's all a water soluble product. So three part blend. That's the nitrogen. Then the Master Blend is the 41838, and the third part that's actually very important. Don't forget about this is Epsom salt. You can buy Epsom salt just about anywhere at, at any grocery store. But if you wanna buy it as a kit, I'll leave a link to that. And basically all of this is a water soluble fertilizer and it's, it's very important that you get the mixture just right because you can overdo it and you can underdo it. Set those down. You can underdo it or you can overdo it very easily. And I found a website online. I'll leave a link in that in the description. I'll leave a link to that in the description box down below. Um, it's very important. A lot of people, when they're measuring out hydroponic solution, hydroponic fertilizers, use a a small scale that will measure in grams. But as I said, I found a website that will allow you to type in your amount of water you're going to be using, and it'll break it down for each one of those ingredients and tell you how much you need to use. Uh, with 50 gallons, it broke it down to where I actually think it was in tablespoons and cups. Like a, I want to say maybe a quarter cup, quarter cup, eighth cup, but I can't remember exactly. Anyways, I'll leave a link to that in the description box down below. Not saying you have to use the Master Blend fertilizer, but you need a very good, well-rounded, water-soluble fertilizer because it's important to feed these plants. If you just put these in water, they will starve to death. They're not gonna grow like they should. So behind me are the first two barrels that I planted. Like I said, I've, I've not harvested any cu cucumbers doing it in barrels yet, but we're getting really, really close. Uh, Leon, go back and watch Leon's video if you missed that. I'll try to leave a link to that video. He grew a whole high tunnel full of cucumbers in barrels last year. So they, these, these barrels, these plants were put in the net cups and put in the water on May 1st. So they've been in the ground, uh, in the water, not in the ground, it's such a habit. They've been in the water right at a month. And look at these beautiful white roots. Look at those. Isn't that an awesome root ball? I don't know if it'll focus on the camera. And we've got probably close to, I mean, it's all curled up and wound up, probably close to a four foot long vine and it is starting to put on cucumbers. It's just getting started. So it's bloomed and we've got little baby cucumbers popping up all along the vine. Try to get that back down in the water. Now the next one, I don't think I'll be able to pull this one out. This one's doing extremely well. Let me see if I can get the roots out. Yeah, look at this one. Look how long the plant is. The vine's doing great. We're just getting our first cucumbers almost to almost to an edible size. Within just a couple days, we'll be able to harvest some cucumbers, some small ones. But the root ball is doing really, really well. We got roots probably, oh, they're all bound up, but probably 12 to 18 inches long total. And look at the mass. Look at the massive roots there. Try to put it back in. So 
So there you go. I'm really excited to see how many cucumbers we can harvest growing them in water like that. And you know, I know it's not necessary. We've got the whole high tunnel garden outside, but I like growing different ways. I like growing food all different ways. And this is something that, that you may be able to do that you may not have a good spot to grow cucumbers in the ground. Um, one thing I am going to do is try to trellis these up so they're almost touching the ground already and they haven't even actually produced a full cucumber yet. But I think this is going to produce a ton of cucumbers and it doesn't have to be done in a huge 50 gallon barrel. You could do it in a, a plastic tote or a trash can. I've seen some videos where people grow cucumbers in trash cans. The joy of having 50 gallons of water is we shouldn't have to add any water after the day of planting. So once we put these in here and let them take off, they honestly have zero labor involved. We never need to water them. We never need to weed them. I mean, just harvest and prune and that's about it. They've got all the fertilizer they need for the whole season and uh, they're off to the races. I'm, I'm excited about it. So no, it's not necessary. You don't have to grow them in tubs. You could grow them in the garden, wherever you want to grow them. But I like experimenting. I like trying new ways of growing things. And uh, this seems really cool. I'm excited to try it. So be sure you use food grade plastic barrels. Otherwise, you never know what you're going to be eating. We don't want to be eating chemicals and things. And if you get something that's not food grade, it may have had some chemicals that will kill your plants. And that's probably not something you want to be eating either. But anyways, I'm excited about it. Guys, that's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Y'all have a great day. And as always, we'll see you on the next video.